drinks happening here. We're helping to kick off Providence's first cocktail week, presented by Providence Monthly. All this week, bars, restaurants, and lounges across the capital city will be offering you the chance to sample some of the best cocktails around with very experienced mixologists. And joining us this morning to tell us more, Don Terborelli from uh, Providence Monthly. We also have Jesse Hedberg, who is from Cook and Brown Public House. I, I love starting a Monday this way. I'm very thrilled about this cocktail week. But There's worse ways. There, there are definitely worse ways, absolutely. All right, let's start with you, John, about your current issue. So you're talking about the cocktail culture in Providence. And how did this whole idea of cocktail week come about? We are. It was really, it's an idea we've been wanting to do for a while yeah. and looking for a reason. And then when this new exhibit at the RISD Museum, Cocktail Culture, came mm -hmm. along, we figured the time was perfect to try to make Cocktail Week happen. And what can people actually learn about the culture of cocktails in your issue? They can learn a lot. Um, you know, most people think of cocktails nowadays in their current form, where mm. it's a lot of electric blue, yeah. fruity concoctions. And we really want to bring it back to classic mixology, bartenders who are professionals, mm -hmm. who can make simple, elegant cocktails that can be a vital part of a meal. Nice. So I know that there are several, or many, bars and restaurants, actually, that are participating in cocktail week so where can people go for specials and things like that well they can go tonight we kick it off at El Rancho Grande 311 mm -hmm. Plainfield Street in Providence with Mexican cocktails okay Friday night Cook and Brown Public House is going to be hosting a cocktail party benefit for the RISD Museum okay and it all culminates on Saturday night with a cabaret a night at the Stardust uh -huh. presented by Cuban Revolution and Schiffer nice. at Cuban Revolution sounds awesome and Jesse, you are here actually to make us a drink, and you are the master bartender at Cook and Brown. So what about your drink mixing philosophy? You heard uh, John kind of touch upon the whole, we don't necessarily like the blue electric stuff all the time, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, uh, the drink I'm making today is a great example of a classic drink. Okay. Uh, this drink is 135 years old. And this is what? It's called the Improved Brandy Cocktail. Okay. It comes from... Uh, Jerry Thomas, who's known as the godfather of American mixology. Ooh. So uh, we're just cracking a little good ice here. We're going to fill our mixing glass up with ice. Mm -hmm. We're starting with two ounces of brandy, or in this case, I'm using a nice cognac. Nice. Um, Do you get a thrill when you mix a good drink? You know what I mean? You absolutely. Must, right? When it comes out just perfection. And any bartender likes to mix a drink that he likes to drink as well. Right, so this right. is one of my favorites right now. Any left in the bottom of the glass you can uh, That's right. <laughs> taste what's left over. So we're doing the, uh, the cognac. Mm -hmm. We're doing a little bit. This is maraschino liqueur. I love the tools you use too. Look at a that. A couple drops of the maraschino. Uh -huh. We've got simple syrup here, a rich simple syrup. We're doing three small spoonfuls of the rich simple syrup. Yep. Yeah. We have the infamous absinthe here. Mm. Not to be, oh, pardon me. That's okay. A little for the mat there. Okay. Uh, one spoonful of the absinthe and then we're going with uh, two dashes of Jerry Thomas bitters. And all then right. in any drink that is all alcohol. We're going to uh, stir this drink, opposed Must. to shaking it, because this really does give a nice uh, silky mouthfeel to the fi finished product. All right. Um, no air bubbles, none of that stuff. We've got a chilled cocktail glass Ooh, here. And pour it right in. And while you're pouring that in, I want to just uh, say thank you again for joining us, both of you on the show. I'm going to take a cool wick. Oh, you're going to put lemon in there? One quick little okay. zest here for a little brightness, and we have the improved and if I drink cocktail. one drink of this, I might not be able to finish the show. Let's see. Oh, that's really good. Not bad, huh? Oh, my. Well, you're not a master bartender for nothing. Thank you so much, Jesse. Thank you. Coming in. Absolutely. John over here. And if people want yep. to learn more, they can just go to cocktailweekprovidence.com okay. or facebook.com slash Providence Cocktail Week okay. and get the full schedule. And if you didn't get those addresses, we also have all the information on the Cocktail Week at foxprovidence.com. And don't forget to pick up this month's free issue of Providence Monthly. It's available all around the Cocktail City right now. All right.